Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Aaron Gordon here, and we are back here with Aaron Gordon Gaming. So, obviously, this is Tetris, as you guys can see. Um, I, you know, obviously grew up playing this game. It has always been a really good uh, kind of, you know, mental exercise for me. Um, this is a little bit different because you can control a little bit better on here than normal. Um, and that's the reason why you see the score that I had was actually pretty solid. We know from our first game, as you guys will be able to tell, but... Um, overall, this was a really fun game, uh, you know, for me on the iPhone, and I think this is something that will be able to help a lot of people um, problem solve, strategize, put yourself into more problem solving situations, and this is um, a really fun game. Um, as you guys can tell, I got myself in some trouble, um, kind of trying to, you know, get some of these uh, spots, um, you know, uh, the way it should, because I'm I'm a type of guy that I like to wait until. You know, I can, you know, get get the uh, get the triple, get the, the, the whole thing, you know, off the whole line in a row. And, you know, it kind of bit me like I love those type of plays where um, obviously overall you continue to go over and over it. And then once, you know, you get that, you know, long string, you'll be all right. But overall, I felt like I did pretty solid this, you know, this game in general. But with that being said, I hope that you guys do enjoy this. Um, let me know if you guys could beat my score. I think, you know, for a first game, I did a really good job. Um, it was actually pretty fun. Let's see if you guys can last over seven minutes on your first game of Tetris. It is pretty hard, your first game. And then I'm not going to lie, this was my very first game. But as you guys can tell right there, I get myself into situations like that when I don't want to go. And as you can tell, I'm, you know, pretty anxious now because I've almost been caught in a little bit of trouble after... You know, two minutes of playing going on two minutes. But uh, right now, I'm definitely focusing a little bit more on trying to get, you know, those. Whenever, to me, whenever you have those ones that are straight, those four in a row straight ones, three in a row straight ones, this is three in a row in here. It changes the entire perplexity. So, like, whenever I see that on the screen, like, th this one coming up after this, um, whenever I see that, I'm able to do so much with it. So, I always like to leave. Um, a block or two behind just because once I get that, um, I'll have a ton of leeway to, you know, really make a splash. And um, what happens is when you get those three in a row, um, the, the game starts to change because then things start to roll in your favor a little bit more. So uh, that's the reason why I love to save those. Like, as you can tell right here, um, that makes the game much easier now. So I would, you know, really encourage people to make sure that when they play those. Take that strategy is try not to go overboard with it like how I did a little bit in this game. Like right now, I'm still trying to do it a little bit, which I should, you know, definitely, you know, just try to just try to get, you know, it off as, as fast as possible. Like I definitely probably should have done that in the middle right there, like not thinking about it, but had a lot on my mind. But yeah, I do a lot of damage with those, as you guys can tell. So this right here is where I start to pick up the momentum a little bit. Um, I'm really starting to play extremely well. I'm a, actually a little bit nervous right here because normally when you start to really get all your ducks in a row, the game starts to become really hard. So I don't want to do too well. Like this one of those games you really don't want to play too well because once you start getting a couple in a row, you'll start to really find it's, it's really tough. But overall, um, looking back, this was a pretty solid, you know, sort of adjustment that I made. See, I'm starting to get a little anxious right now. Now, 
this was the biggest mistake. I definitely should have went lower um, to start. This is where that's where everything turned loose, as you guys will be able to tell. Like, yeah, I had nowhere for anything else. Um, they are just going to continue to pile up. And I knew I was in trouble right here. This is where I knew that I was in trouble. Um, I shouldn't have done that. And there's no the, the thing is, there's no way to come back from it, like because they're just going to continue to pile up. So um, if you play this game, if you can, you know, last pass once it gets halfway full for a little bit. But, yeah, there's no way that I'll be, you know, in this frame for, for too long. So, um, very situation, guys. Don't make that mistake that I did because there's no coming back. Once it goes up to halfway, you can't really get it all the way back down. Unless you're, like, a pro and, like, but, you know, I'm not there yet. But, see, then you start every single decision that you make starts to get really tough and really fast. Like, you don't have a lot of time. So, um, be, be aware of that, too, as well. Yep, so every single mistake that you have now adds up like crazy. Um, yeah, like that was a tough mistake that I should not have made right there. That was really a game changer. But I definitely should have had uh, it, you know, facing a different way. But it's like now everything is, yeah, like I'm not even making the, the right decisions anymore. Like it's, yeah, like the decisions that I make now were just too tough. Yeah. Yeah, it was over. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> it was over. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Uh, thank you for your appreciation. I got some more games coming.